perfect. So my question is really for both of you. Um, can you speak a little bit about the personal challenges of portraying these iconic figures and, and what these roles actually taught you personally? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, for me, one of the challenges was, um, I mean, not only just playing someone who truly existed, but someone who was so kind of, I say well documented, I think he could have probably been much more documented in terms of things that exist online right now. Um, but the, the documentation was there. And so, you know, one thing you have the accent, you have the Trinidadian accent, and then you have Darkus's voice, you know, he was his own unique voice in, in itself. And the the need to get that right wasn't just a vanity thing, but it was like his voice is so much about who he is. It was so full of not just his culture, but his life lived, you know, um, the choices that he made in terms of his intonations and everything, like the need to get that right and accurate was a thing. Um, but I guess one of my biggest challenges was balancing being darkest and being an artist, you know, um, having understanding there was value in my expression as well as his and that that needed to come through because I could never actually be dark as I, I, I don't have that wealth of life and experience to be him um, so I'm gonna have to pull from me and that's gonna have to be enough I think facing that reality was one of the biggest challenges for me um, <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a it's a true story. It's a real guy. There is real family. There's real family involved. Like now, now uh, there are kids. There's a wife. There's there's you know there's there's people alive today who know more than all of us put together, right? And um, you want to represent them correctly, properly. It's certainly in the heartfelt way. I'm never gonna I'm never gonna play the dude that was my friend's dad. As in, I'm never gonna get all the nuances correct. I didn't have many. Um, much to go by uh, there's not like reams of interviews i had one interview to go by to 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 to, to check this dude you know out and it was an interview after the fact of when he was a lot older and again it's like now he's not tr really being himself he's kind of like sat there and it's an interview so you can't really get the nuances of the dude from the interview so you know it was um I had to do a lot of work on, on, on those levels, but um, essentially what you are doing is, is that you're summoning up, it's, what is it? We're, talk we're talking about pain, we're talking about abuse, we're talking about fear, we're talking about um, all of these things that uh, belong to our heritage, that are a part of our heritage. Strength, um, you know, if the worst comes to the worst, we have our Negro spirituals. I don't know, you know, we, we, there's something. We'll, we'll put our faith into something. These guys decided to put their faith into community and walk forward together, so you know what was daunting about it the idea that this spirit this is not a this is not a, a this story hasn't been pulled out of someone's backside as i was saying before um this is a real story and so if we all shine meaning if we all do what we are supposed to do what we're being paid to do as actors or costume or the lighting people or the director or the producers or whatever else you know this story you don't have to do very much just be real and hopefully a few generations out there will be able to watch this and go and, 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 and get something from it uh, in whatever country that you're in. Selfishly right now, I'm just, um, it's about these kids over here in this country. Haven't seen anything. I mean, in America, like, it's all over the place, America's history. It's all over and getting more and more. Quite a few people had heard about Tulsa. Uh, but never, but never seen it depicted. So even America had some old school, like what? Really? No one knows about that. No one knows about black, like um, you know, uh, uh, the 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 you know, uh, the banks and the, black Wall sorry? Street. Wall black Street. Wall Thank Street. you. You knew where I was going. You knew where I was going. What? Well, it was like people knew about it, and some people didn't. I knew about it for years and years and years because I've done my history because I only because playing different roles you have to you know so I researched that stuff and I'm like wait they had like what and they did what <laughs> I couldn't believe it and people were still like running around not writing you know George Floyd I get it I get it but people still mate did you Tulsa 
<laughs> I, was like, I can't believe it. Anyway, the long and the short of it is, is the Chicago 7 or 8, or, uh, you know, you've got Tulsa now being depicted in a couple of shows. Now you've got this coming out at the same time. You know, it's like people knew 2020 was coming or something. I don't, I don't know. It's weird, but um, it's kind of like a crazy time to be a part of it. But it was daunting. But again, you rely on... on, on the actors around you, you rely on the director, you rely on your own self-awareness enough to care, to want to get this right, and to want to, to want to emit the energy of these spirits and this cry from back in the day, you know, you feel responsible. But fortunately for us, that's where we've put laid our hat. We, we, we are actors, so we want to be responsible to play roles. So we're happy to do it um, every single time. Sometimes just for the check and sometimes because we realize this is a moment. And it's definitely a, a thing I, re I recognized when I, when I read it and I knew it was coming. And then I was on set. I knew it was a moment to be recognized. I, I see the you know, the way that it's been put together and, 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 and what it was trying to say and stuff. And I, so I read the nuances in the script. So, you know, I was always aware that there was no time for play play on this. This was, this was the one that you brought out the big guns for, you know? Well, yes. And thank you so much. Your performances were extraordinary. And I can't wait to see kind of the cultural impact and legacy that Mangrove leads. So thank yeah. you so much.